What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. That was super intense for saying hello. So hello and thanks for being here. Uh, today we are talking about verbs, specifically setting up a, a return with a verb plugin and we're gonna make it sound super 80s and we're going to put it on our snare drum and on our toms and it is going to be epic. So let's dive in. So first of all, what's the whole point of a verb? It's to give space to the drums. It's to just make it sound big and cool. And today's verb is specifically going to be one that has a really short tail and it doesn't fade evenly, right? Um, it's just gonna cut off and it's gonna be really neat. And so to use that, we're gonna use the Waves H Reverb plugin. Um, and it's got a really cool preset that I love. Um, and then we're just gonna manipulate it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you how to set up um, your sends. So that way you're not getting any of like the hi-hat bleed going into your snare drum. So we're gonna set up an additional snare bus that's got a heavy gate on it that's really only going to allow the transient of the snare to cut through and then we're going to send that to the reverb and it just makes for a really really awesome effect that is separated and that just adds that whole kind of 80s sound to your track so let's look at pro tools um, right here, I've got the entire uh, drum file. I've already recorded it, it's already set up. Um, here is the snare bus. And so what I've done to get there is I've routed these three snare tracks, which are the snare top uh, condenser, snare top uh, dynamic mic, and snare bottom mic all to one single bus. And here is what that sounds like, just the three of them. Very cool. Uh, here it is in context. So we've already got some space in there with these uh, room mics. But I want to add just a little bit of something that isn't uh, realistic sounding. I want it to be... Um, just cooler and funkier. Uh, so let's look at what that would be. So I'm going to create a new track and I'm going to call this 80s verb. And then I'm going to go ahead and just send zero. That may or may not be the amount. And then I'm going to solo safe this so that way uh, whenever I solo the uh, snare drum tracks, it'll still contain the verb. And then I'm going to route this to my effects bus. So that way it goes through all of my final processing at the end. And then the plugin I'm going to use is the uh, Waves H Reverb. And I'm going to go to their preset. It's a gated, or it's a gated verb. Um, and it is called that 80 snare, okay, perfect. And so let's just have a listen to what this preset sounds like. So I like that, but I want it to kind of cut off a little bit uh, slower. Um, so I'm gonna mess with this and maybe make it more of a sharper cutoff. I kind of want it to last like one full beat. That's what I'm looking for here. Uh, cool, that sounds really, really nice. Uh, but you can hear how the hi-hat keeps finding its way into the reverb. 
and I don't like that. I just want it to be the snare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate the snare bus. I'm gonna remove all of this automate or all of these plugins here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take off the send to the 80s verb from the original snare bus because we're not gonna use that anymore. Because what we're gonna do is on this duplicated snare bus is we're gonna put on a gate to make sure that only the transient of the snare comes through and none of the extra hi-hat stuff. So that way, the only thing that's being sent to the verb is just that snare drum hit. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Pro Tools, oops, that's not it. I'm just gonna use the Pro Tools um, gate and let's have a listen. So I want more attack in there. And you can hear how we're still getting a little bit of hi-hat, so let's go ahead and move this threshold up. Cool. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and sharpen the ratio, lower the range. But I want a little bit of a longer release because it, now it's starting to sound just a little too unnatural. Yeah, that is very cool to me. What we'll do is I don't want the actual dry snare drum to be gated. I just want the send to be gated. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume on this snare bus duplicate, and then I'm going to make the send pre-fader, so that way no matter what the dry fader is here, what this level is, it will always send this certain amount. So let's have a listen. So now that's just the completely wet verb, uh, no dry signal. And now the snare bus, the original snare bus, is actually going to be that dry signal. Yeah, that sounds really, really cool to me. So let's go ahead and add that to the toms, because I love that vibe. And let's see where that lands us. Yeah, that is just so cool to me. And it's already sounding so much more alive. Now, if you don't like how separated the drums are from the reverb and like things like the overheads, you can always sneak a little bit of that into this send. I personally don't do it. I would just send the overheads to like a regular sounding plate that's a little bit shorter or some sort of hall or something like that. Um, so we can, or even a room. So let's see what that does. So it gives it a little bit more space. Or if you have room mics, you can absolutely just turn those up too. Not a big fan of that sound. But anyways, now we've got our verb set up, we've got our snare being sent to it, and we've got our toms being sent to it. And with the snare drum, we have gated the dry signal on a duplicate track to just send to the verb, so that way we're not getting any of the hi-hat bleed. And I think that that sounds fantastic. So I know this was short and sweet, but I'm so glad that you stopped by to watch this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry. Uh, if you got anything else you want to hear me talk about, feel free to drop a comment uh, in the section below. Do all the like and subscribe stuff because that helps me get discovered by the YouTube algorithm and uh, get to reach more people uh, so that way I can continue to make more videos. I'm so grateful for you and I'll see you in the next video.